Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny. Welcome back to a video I was not at all expecting to make, especially not today, but here we are, so let's talk about it. Because it seems that Illumix has officially left FNAF AR in the dust, and while it hasn't been confirmed, mainly because we still have yet to hear an official response and statement by Illumix. I think with the evidence we're going to look at in this video, it's pretty clear cut that it seems like they're done with the game and they're moving on to other stuff. First up, if you're brand new, make sure to subscribe. Only about like 80 to 90% of the people who watch me are not subscribed. Please, we're trying to get to 50k by the end of the year. It means a lot. Also, hit the like button, so let's hop into it. I'm, I'm assuming everyone knows what FNAF AR is. It's the, you know, FNAF game on your phone where you look around and you... You, you know, you shock all the animatronics as they as they circle around you. However, the game has slowly slowed down over time. At the very start of the game, we were getting a whole bunch of brand new characters, mainly the toy animatronics, and then when we got into quarantine with the coronavirus, Illumix actually handled the situation pretty good, where they released a whole bunch of skins for the animatronics in the game, and that lasted for about two years, it was a long time. Over the course of that time, we would still get, you know, characters every now and then, the Jacko characters, Ballora, Golden Freddy, and eventually at the end of last year, we got the long-awaited Funtime Freddy and also a brand new DLC for the game. And since that time, the end of last year, we have not had any official updates or statements from Illumix talking about what they're doing with the game, what's next, when's the next character, when's the next update even. We've had nothing. The only content we have or little blast from the past updates that they just release whenever they feel like it over the course of this wait. Where you hop on, and the only new content you get are some tokens and lures for already existing animatronics and skins. It's very disappointing. For a game that has such a strong start, and honestly a fantastic idea behind it, the developers have just kind of left it in the dust. And unfortunately, it seems like today marks the end of FNAF AR's adventure because I was on Twitter today and I saw this tweet. But I saw this tweet by my pal, Mysko. Misko. Sorry, I have known you for quite a while, still don't actually know how to pronounce your name. <laughs> uh, but anyways, so they made a tweet saying it is over. At Illumix of FNAF AR fame has created new social media accounts. At Illumix Inc. and a brand new website at Illumix.net. And neither include FNAF AR as something they ever worked on. FNAF AR has been abandoned, and they include a screenshot of the brand new page of the brand new website saying unlock the power of augmented reality for jewelry. Simply drag and drop tools to easily create high quality augmented reality experiences which increase customer confidence and boost sales. And as you can see, they have a picture of Kieran uh, demonstrating the brand new augmented reality technology for a ring on her hand. This is not something new. Actually, if you go over to the old Illumix website, there it is, right there. So this is their old website. As you can see, it has FNAF AR all over it. There's a video right here. They talk about it a bit down here, saying we power one of the most successful AR games to date. If it's so successful, imagine leaving it behind. And you go at the bottom of the page, and once again, there's FNAF AR. There's a link to the FNAF AR dedicated website which is crazy. This has not been updated since, I believe, the launch of the game. And also, I'll show it off here. This is the brand new Twitter account. As you can see, it's Illumix Inc. So you can see they're still sticking with the augmented reality stuff. They're still, you know, that's what they're doing. But it's so weird because they still have their old Twitter account, which, <laughs> to be frank, they haven't posted on since November when they were on the Disney Accelerator program. But it's just so weird to make a completely brand new Twitter account, even though you are doing the same exact stuff with augmented reality. Happy birthday, Beyonce. <laughs> if you are doing the same stuff as you were before, why do you need a brand new Twitter account? Why do you need a brand new website? Which again, does not feature FNAF AR anywhere. As you can see, I'm scrolling through. No mention of FNAF. There's just none. It's crazy to me that you'd make whole new <laughs> social media and website. Despite FNAF AR being, quote, the most successful AR game to date, you are clearly proud of it on your old website. Why, why start a new one? Unless you're trying to leave it behind and move on to new things, which I can understand. They obviously cannot do FNAF AR forever. You know, they are an AR company. They want to move on to bigger stuff. You know, they were in, again, the Disney Accelerator. Like, Jesus, that's huge. It's absolutely amazing. I'm not trying to bash a Lumix if they want to move on to new stuff, but to completely abandon FNAF AR, abandon the fans. And I get it. I have proven time and time again that I'm not the biggest fan 
of FNAF AR. But just to completely leave it behind, with no statement, no like goodbye, you know, we'll see you on the next adventure. Like, Jesus, man, why? Like, it just feels like you're backstabbing the fans. Because let's be honest here, FNAF AR was Illumix's first project. It was their first game, it was what got them onto the, you know, into the field. Make it a, a recognizable name. FNAF AR is what boosted Illumix into stardom in the first place. And so to just leave it and its fans behind, again, just with no statement. I don't care if you want to move on to other things. I get that. I understand that. But just to leave your old fans in the dust, to leave your biggest project, your groundbreaking debut in the dust, like that's crazy to me. And I'm sorry, that's just straight up bogus. Like that's insane that they just dropped their fans and dropped FNAF AR. Like it sucks. Because I don't care what you say, like FNAF AR obviously was amazing. Actually, this tweet sums it up best. It could not be an overstatement how much of a waste this is. They had everything. They had a player base. They had a decent game going. They had people paying for their MTX and literally all they had to do was pump out good models and updates once in a while. I completely agree with that. FNAF AR had something going for them. They absolutely, absolutely could have made it a groundbreaking game. So to see them just... <laughs> To see Lumix abandon it and move on to other things without even acknowledging the fans that got them to star the stardom in the first place is extremely disheartening. Again, I realize I'm not the biggest FNAF AR fan. There are a lot of people out there who love the game more than me. There's a lot of people out there who hate the game more than me. But still, like, it's just, I, I really cannot believe it. That they would go through, create brand new accounts, a brand new website, not mention the thing that got them their fame in the first place, get them on the board in the first place, and then and then just move on. Like, I, I, I really can't express how disheartening that is to me and how just insanely, insanely ridiculous that is to FNAF AR fans and the FNAF community as a whole. FNAF AR was, meant, was not meant to be something groundbreaking. Honestly, I think we all know that. It's just a spin-off game. But still, just to leave it in the dirt and move on to other things without even giving a thank you to your fans. I guess that's the end of FNAF AR. I do wish Illumix the best in whatever they're going to do moving forward, because clearly they're a talented company, you know? They got Disney backing them, they, I mean, <laughs> whether whether you hate it or not, their technology with the ring is pretty impressive. Look at this, like it tracks, the angle changes depending on where your, where your hand is. I do hope, if this is truly the end, we hear something from Illumix. Because just, again, just to leave us in the dirt, and I know I keep saying it, but just to leave us in the dirt like that. Then, I'd have just a bit more respect. But this was it for me. <laughs> for them just to leave us in the dirt and move on like we're nothing. That sucks. That hurts. That's gonna do it. This absolutely was not the video I planned on making today, but it's definitely something I wanted to talk about. Because, <laughs> I don't know, I feel like... For some reason, I have a pretty big voice in the FNAF AR community, which is weird because I thought FNAF AR fans usually hated me because I didn't really like the game and all the skins that kept getting pumped out. But whatever, I just wanted to share my thoughts because this was... This was insane news to get today. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We got big, big videos coming out the rest of the month. Quick update on the FNAF movie. Also got some amazing news. I'll pull it up right here, give you guys a bit of a sneak peek. Well, 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 look who finally got revealed talk about him in a future video but thank you guys so much for checking out this video if you enjoyed it hit the like button subscribe that's gonna do it for now thanks for watching and i'll see you all on the flip side goodbye